This tutorial video is going to show you how to use the loft tool with a center line to create this pipe adapter. I'm also going to show you how to use the thread tool in Autodesk Inventor and the shell tool. Let's go ahead and start with a 2D sketch. Now I'm going to draw this center line first. I have two sketches for the profile and then I have the center line path and it really doesn't matter which way you do it. I'm just choosing to do the path first because to me it makes a little more sense but no wrong way to do it as long as you get the right answer. The dimensions here shown on the image are exactly what I'm putting in right now. Fully constrained, so I'm good to go there. Now this bottom sketch is going to lie on one of the origin planes, so I'm going to draw that one next. That's actually just a circle with a diameter of three quarters of an inch or 0.75. Now this next sketch is not does not lie on one of the origin planes. So what I need to do is do an offset plane. Now since I have a point here as my guide, I'm going to use this one to be as accurate as possible. So I'm going to choose one of these three origin planes to offset. And that's going to be the one I want because it has the correct orientation. It's just not in the right place. Click what I want to reference and then click the point. Here's my new sketch, uh, or my new work plane in exactly the right place. Start a new sketch. Now it's actually critical you make sure that you import or project that endpoint, or your center line won't work right. Put your geometry right on that. This is a half an inch. And we should be ready to loft at this point. I'm actually going to hide this like having a clean workspace as much as possible. All right, let's go ahead and loft. So I'm going to go from this sketch to that sketch. And you can see what happens if we don't use the center line path. Select the center line and it looks much better. Now I need to add on the ends. This is a half inch long. This is a half inch long. I'm simply going to sketch on the ends, project the existing geometry, and extrude it half an inch. Do the same thing on the bottom. Project, extrude. All right, it's still set to a half an inch. Perfect. Now I need to shell this. Where's my shell tool? Here it is. I'm going to shell this, and my thickness, my wall thickness, is going to be 0.1. So that's exactly what I'm going to use. And I actually need to shell. Uh, well, when I shell, the bottom stays closed. So I'm going to do a new sketch on the bottom, create a circle. Now I could do a little math to figure out exactly where my 0.1 wall thickness is. I could also just use some geometry to do that. I like to just put a construction line, put a couple points where I'm dimensioning to. It looks like I put a point, but it didn't catch. And make that point one. That's essentially measuring the wall thickness. Oh. And that's why we need that line to work. So construction line, oh, there it is. It didn't take the line. Make sure these are both on the line. And we're good to go now. Let's go ahead and extrude cut that. We're actually only going to need to cut it 0.1 inch because that was the wall thickness. And now it's perfectly hollow inside. Now, really, the last thing we need to do is add the threads, which is really simple on Inventor. It has this nice threading tool. Select a face you want to thread. Select the type of threads. We're using NPT, National Pipe Thread, for half inch. That's perfect. It's nice when it's intuitive and selects what you need. And here it did almost the right thing. NPT three quarter. That's perfect. That's how you're selecting the threads. Now, there are alternate ways to sweep cut actual threads, but for this design, this is absolutely acceptable. Now, one more trick I'm going to show you real quick is if you wanted to create this view, if you wanted to cut it in half and see what it looks like, all you need is a plane that 
cuts it in half, which we could just happen to have one right here. Select the split tool. Select all the faces. That's a funny menu. I'm not sure why I did that. Try that again. Split tool. It's giving me an interesting look at the split tool here. Not the one I'm used to seeing by any means. Just to change something. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, faces is going to be everything. It's not working. Right. Oh, I chose the wrong tool. I'm sorry. I feel like, uh, like I'm doing the wrong thing. This is the split tool. So for the split tool, you select the tool you're going to use, which is going to be how we're going to cut. That is our plate. We're going to select our faces, which is going to be everything. I can just click all faces here. Click OK. And now it basically cut that in half. Now here's a little tricky part, is if you select everything you want to cut and click the Delete Faces button, now you can see exactly what it looks like if you cut it in half. I think sometimes this can be useful. It's not too big of a deal on this object, but there are other objects where it is even more useful. All right, go ahead and make your own now. You should know how to use the center line part of the loft tool. It's extremely useful. There's a lot you can do with it, uh, not just the loft tool itself, but the other features inside it, including center line. So I hope you found that helpful.